Absolutely, Miss Rady. I only did this video to impress you, my classmates, and to speak about, well, the Philippines. Anyways, for the inconvenience of the video, the countries will be represented by animals. Just because, you know, the metaphor stuff, and my group already drew animals on their poster. Anyways, the Spanish-American War was taking place, and the Philippines was one of Spain's colonies. The Filipinos did not like Spain. Heck, to them, all Spain asked was, You shall lay golden eggs for us so we can make money. Us Filipinos were like, We refuse to lay more eggs for you. We want freedom. But Spain was all like, You are my possessions. Obey me. Meanwhile, the U.S. sent over Commodore George Dewey to sink all the Spanish fleet ships stationed at the Philippines. Emilio Aguilarado was the rooster of the group, being hailed as a national hero to the Filipinos. Anyways, Emilio and George were all like, You hate the Spaniards too? Yeah! Hey, let's team up and destroy them! Can we be free afterwards? Oh no, the Spaniards are coming! Eventually, the U.S. and Philippines defeated Spain, so the Philippine people were all like, So, we're free now, right? Right? Sadly, like the Bill Cipher demon trickster from Gravity Falls, the U.S. was all like, Sorry, kid, but you're my puppet now! <laughs> oh my gosh, this can't be happening. This can't be happening. And thus sparked the hatred among those who were wrong. Some Americans joined the Filipinos because they thought trapping the Philippines under U.S. control was wrong. Emilio got deported because he refused to acknowledge the U.S. as their rulers. And the rebels fought with the U.S. for three years before getting crushed in 1901. Don't worry, though. The Philippines became independent in 1946. So, yeah, the chicken runs free.